Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here with the Samsung Galaxy S6 unboxing video. The Galaxy S6 announced the MWC 2015 is a beautiful looking phone. Far departure from what we've seen from Samsung historically, and the box reflects that. It's a new styling we've yet to see from Samsung. You've got the name of the device on the front, the storage capacity, 32 gigabytes, available in 32, 64, or 128 gig varieties. This is a sleeve, so let's quickly take a look around it before we jump inside that box. On the flip side, you can see Cat6 LTE capable, 64-bit octa-core processor, 5.1-inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display, mind-blowing PPI on that, 577, mad. You've also got a 16-megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, 5-megapixel front camera. Out of the box, this thing supports wireless charging, Nox capable for security, and that fixed memory, not expandable this time around. So we can lift the lid off and you can see it is an even simpler box, just a simple Samsung. You've got barcodes, you've got some key information and we can open it up. Whoop, looks like hasn't been opened up that way before to reveal the device itself. Now, from the front, this looks exactly like Samsung Galaxy S4 actually, not an S4. The S5 was plasticky and you can see our comparison video. It was very, very thick and waterproof and it was a fair phone, but it wasn't the beauty that we really thought the S4 was and now think the S5 is. The S5 feels great in the hand. And what's really different between this and the S4 though is the metal frame. Very reminiscent of kind of a cross between a Sony Xperia and an iPhone. It's cold to the touch, beautiful, beautiful. We can power that up and we'll talk you around the device itself after we have expunged the box contents. So let's put that to the side. You can see the boot screen in the background and we can lift the lid off the literature. So we'll open that up and it's pretty much booted straight away to a welcome screen. We can take a look at the actual paperwork that ships with the device. So you have some German, you have some English, which we will keep hold of. You've got a regional lock guide, you've got more German, and you've got a warranty card. So I don't speak German, so warranty card, self-explanatory and pretty boring. Um, regional lock guide, you've got a whole load of languages on that. Now, quick start guide. The quick start guide is always the one with pictures. So you can see this guides you around the phone, also shows you how to charge your battery and change your SIM card. That's pretty much the crux of it. So let's get to looking inside the rest of the box. Offset, you can see headphones, micro USB and power. If we take a look at the specific type of headphones on this thing, we can pull them out to reveal earbuds. So HTC included a new awesome kind of headphone with the M9. Unfortunately, we couldn't do an unboxing because we have yet to get the retail box version of that, but we can definitely make out these earbuds are not your average earbuds. We haven't seen them from Samsung before. What's more, they ship with another set of buds for them. We can put them to one side and then pull out the micro USB to full size USB connector. Again, pretty standard stuff right there. We can also see we have a SIM card eject pin, nano SIM eject pin there. Um, so we can poke out the nano SIM card slot when we get our hands on the S6 in a second. And finally, given we've got the German version, we have a European charging adapter, expect a regional specific one for you. Now we can look at the S6 itself. Itself. Front, you've got the five megapixel front camera, a 5.1 inch display, pixel density of 577, which is mad. We can swap the language out to English United Kingdom, because that's exactly where I am, and press next. Unfortunately, we can't talk you through the UI too heavily because this is an unboxing video, but stay tuned for our hands-on and full review coming in the next few days and indeed that review in the next week. You've got a home button, doubles up as a fingerprint scanner. You've also got a multitasking button and a back button on the right-hand side, power button, nano SIM card slot. So we can pull out this pin and reveal the simple process by which one might eject the nano SIM card. This isn't a micro SD card slot because this is not micro SD expandable. So clip that in there. The whole sides being flat, that's what's reminiscent of the Samsung, of the Sony Xperia Z4. It's a base that's most reminiscent, Z3, sorry. It's a base that's most reminiscent of the iPhone. That base houses speaker, 
micro USB connector and 3.5 mil jack, left hand side volume buttons, up at the top an infrared blaster, and on the reverse you've got that 16 megapixel rear camera, optically image stabilized, there's a piece of plastic on there so let's get rid of it, and you've got a flash and heart rate monitor as well. You can see we've got the white version, it's available in white, black, and a few other colors. Our favorites were the white and black versions, specifically the black one looks the sleekest. Same with the S6 Edge. We can actually pull an S6 Edge into frame that we have also just got, but we won't be able to review the S6 Edge right now, unfortunately. We've just had some time with it for a hands-on, and we can put them side by side. These pack very, very similar specs. The key differences are the slightly different capacities battery-wise, and the user interface supports the Edge on the Edge screen, um, unsurprisingly. So you can assign favorite contacts to that Edge display, um, etc. Ultimately, though, at the heart of it, these are two identical phones. Both have wireless charging, both have an Exynos Octa processor, three gig of RAM, Quad HD displays, and beautiful metal body designs. Hopefully you've enjoyed our quick unboxing video with the Samsung Galaxy S6. Check out our channel for our unboxing video with the S6 Edge, and stay tuned to BTECH for a lot more content on both of these devices in the coming days. Thanks for watching.